Junji Ito is one of my favorite manga artists of all time, and the reason being to that is the duality in his work. It can be so eerily beautiful and frightening at the same time, and to the reader, it creates this beautiful storm of so many intense emotions, and that to me is art at its finest. So I decided to celebrate his artistry by creating my own version of his work. In this video, I will show you guys how I made this piece from start to finish. But first, let me introduce myself. Hi everyone and welcome to this video. I am Casey aka Kiki Deeds and I'm new here on YouTube. But you can go check out my Instagram. I'll have a link down below. You can look at all my previous work because, spoiler alert, they're kind of good. So you might enjoy them. But let's not waste any time and show you guys the materials I used. I used this PBO black fabric paint, this white acrylic, don't really suggest it but I wanted to try it. And these fine brushes, they're a bit pricey but they're so worth it because I have a bit more control over the brush strokes and they get everything done. What really inspired me to make this piece are some of Junji Zito's most famous artworks like Tomie and Uzumaki, but mostly Uzumaki. The fascination that he has with spirals, I get that and I love it. I love this manga so much, it was totally frightening, but the imagery was beautiful. I mean, Junji Ito can make even cats look terrifying. And I will admit it, I've been a nerd all my life. <laughs> I've always liked anime and manga, but last year was the year when I really got into his work. And surprisingly enough, last year our teachers asked us to do this drawing inspired by violence. And that night I saw this documentary about personality disorder and I was really inspired to create this drawing called Monsters Create Monsters, but as you can see, it's heavily influenced by Junji Ito's work. And so I thought, hmm, I'll just take a bit of my work and a bit of his work and put it together and create a jacket that I will love. And I mean, the process was a bit of a struggle. I had to sit down for hours on end to finish this and film it obviously but it was so worth it i really ended up liking how it turned out i really like that i didn't pay so much attention to details and some of you might think like girl what are you talking about this is really detailed but no if you look closely the paint is not perfect every stroke is not perfect <laughs> and in every painting that i do i actually try the, my best to make it perfect, to make it precise, to make it amazing and just flawless. But in this painting, I really try to be a bit more loose with my brush strokes and just have a little bit more fun because usually I just get so caught up in trying to make my best that I forget to actually have fun with the process. And as you can see, this uh, painting is not placed in the middle of the jacket. I did that on purpose because I didn't want it to look perfect. I wanted it to look a bit destructive and I wanted it to look a bit raw. Basically, I wanted it to look a bit more like art because art to me is not perfection. It is being able to move somebody with your work. I want people to see this and feel some type of way, whether they feel frightened, sad, they like it, they don't. If I do that, I have completed my mission. As a wise man once said, my richness is life forever. This is how my richness looks like. <laughs> I hope you really enjoyed this process. It was so fun to film. I have posted this video on my Instagram of how it looks like, but if you do decide to do something similar, please send it to me. Thank you so much for staying till the end of this video. I really appreciate it. If you like this kind of content, maybe subscribe, maybe don't. It's your choice, no pressure. See you in the next video. If I make one, please. Mamma mia. <laughs> Bye.